Hello everyone, hope you're doing well and welcome to my channel. Uh, today we're going to work on a tutorial uh, together and it goes uh, like this. Uh, many times uh, we encountered that uh, we encountered the need to obtain a map of the area where our project is located. Uh, we start by analyzing the work uh, or placing our work on this map. Uh, however, we often face uh, so many problems uh, such as uh, uh, in inadequate quality or the inability to find uh, actually a suitable uh, website to download our work or these maps or sometimes we struggle with the graphic uh, related issues. Today I want to introduce a website to you that is especially designed for this purpose. You can start with different graphics and edit your uh, work uh, to achieve the desired graphic style. And also, uh, in the end, uh, you can download your file with suitable quality. And I will also teach you another method to convert your file into a vector format so that you can use it with larger sizes or have more flexibility for future edits. Okay, all right. Uh, the website I want to introduce to you today is snazimaps.com. Uh, if you visit this website, you will see that it offers a wide variety of graphics of uh, graphics for maps. Uh, you can scroll through and choose a map that fits within your framework. Um, as you can see, uh, there's a great diversity, uh, and uh, so 2,376 pages available till now. And you can even apply filters and uh, find your desired terms such as uh, popular or based on uh, based on your search or filter by uh, uh, for example tags or uh, colors yeah so for example, let's say I've selected a map here uh, that in terms of graphics, I believe has a, a suitable design and graphic. And you can see that the current quality is satis uh, satisfactory. If you wish, you can edit it again in terms of color, graphics uh, or shapes. So uh, if you come to the left side, you can see its specifications listed, including its color and the number of views. Uh, Below that, uh, you can copy the code of this map and use it on your website. Uh, this is also a very important uh, point that you can uh, that you can use in uh, your website. Furthermore, if you go up, uh, up a bit, uh, there's a section called Customize. If you click on this section, it takes you to the place where you can edit this uh, this map. Now, if you look at the left side of the image. You will see various uh, subsets uh, such as administrative landscape, point of interest, road, and transit. You can also uh, individually check them and see what you want to edit. For example, here I want to uh, make some edits to the parks. You click on parks and it opens another category. It asks whether you want to edit the geometry or labels. I click on the geometry section. Uh, and I want to edit the uh, feel of the parks. I will turn on the visibility and select from the bottom where I want to make this change with hue or give it a custom color. For example, I choose hue. Now you can see the parks have turned red and you can play around with different colors either using the hue system or the uh, custom color system. Finally, you can uh, save it and also uh, continue uh, editing. Uh, there are many other things you can edit. Uh, if, you don't, if, you, if you don't want uh, to proceed and want to revert the previous state, you can click on these icons and it will go back and reset your map. If you want to also return to the original map, you can click on the reset in this section and it will completely reset it to the uh, initial map. And this is really great. All right, excellent. For example, I think my map is suitable and I want to uh, download it. Uh, under the customize section, uh, there's an option called download image. Uh, click on it 
I believe the map is in the right position in terms of dimensions. I make it larger, uh, setting, uh, set it uh, to uh, 1000 pixel by 1000 pixel. And finally, I set the uh, scale factor to 3 uh, to download it with the highest possibility quality. And then click on the download button. Just uh, just note that uh, you can also you can have uh, up to 10 free downloads from this from this website. And uh, okay, I'm going to click on the download image and wait for my picture to uh, to be downloaded. All right, uh, great. All right, uh, my image has been downloaded, and now I'm entering Photoshop to transfer my image into it and see its specifications. If you pay attention, uh, the quality is quite fine, and uh, now you can go to the uh, image uh, and select the image size option. You will see that uh, it has 3000 pixel by 3000 pixel, which is uh, quite fine. But I want to tell you another method to increase the increase the quality of uh, the map, and even select each color individually and change the uh, colors. The necessary step. Is to import the image to, into Illustrator. All right, my image is imported into Illustrator. Select the image, then go to the right side menu, click on Quick Actions, and choose Image Trace. Here it asks you about the color system you have. I don't think it has more than uh, 16 colors or even six colors. Uh, for now, I choose uh, 16 colors. And click OK, and it starts processing my image. Yeah. If you enjoyed this video so far, uh, please like it. It really helps me uh, uh, with the uh, YouTube algorithm to uh, to get more views on the uh, on the videos. Uh, thank you. All right, now let's go back to the right side menu and click on the expand option. Great. Also, click on the ungroup option. Now, if you zoom in, you will see that each layer is separated, separated, and you can edit them individually. Select them, and from the right side menu, for example, change the field color or any other uh, color you desire. This greatly helps to uh, maintain the quality of your work. And now it has been converted actually to a vector. If you zoom in you will see that it has been transformed into a vector uh, giving more uh, giving you more uh, freedom for uh, actually editing very good now you press ctrl z to revert to the previous state and you can even save it uh, save the file now i use the file menu go to the export option and then uh, choose export as uh, to save it in SVG format, which preserves the quality of uh, your work. For example, I save it, and in the same uh, in the same position, I go to the download file and uh, uh, try to bring it to uh, Photoshop. All right. Now, if you compare these two images, uh, the one we had before and the one uh, that is new, you will see uh, how much the quality has improved and how different uh, they are. In fact, the SVG file format uh, is from Illustrator and the uh, uh, downloaded file uh, from the Snazzy Maps. If you want to work more efficiently, you have to uh, have uh, better uh, qualities. So. You can compare them now and uh, see them uh, see the difference uh, in the case of the quality. It's really it's really uh, huge. If you want to work uh, more efficiently, you can use Illustrator by pressing Ctrl A to select all, Ctrl C, uh, and in Photoshop Ctrl V uh, to paste the uh, file. You can import it as a smart object. Press Enter, and you will see that the vector file you created in Illustrator is now transferred. Uh, as a smart object into Photoshop. If you resize it, uh, it's large or smaller, uh, there won't be any loss in quality, which can be very helpful 
even here if you want you can use uh, the selection tool to quickly uh, select and apply your desired color for example dark blue uh, if the color is already yeah this is like your uh, dark blue if the area is already selected uh, you can use alt uh, plus backspace to apply it to the selected area if the color is uh, uh, in top it's really amazing and can greatly assist your work and additionally um, there's a new feature uh, added to this Nazi maps called uh, build a map and this is really uh, great which can help you uh, if you have a website and um, and want to integrate uh, kind of maps actively into into your website you can create and customize your uh, desired map uh, for your business and actually directly use it on your uh, website and it's really uh, it can be really helpful uh, for your uh, uh, private uh, website or uh, your business website so let me quickly provide an example here. Uh, the first part is a style where you choose your preferred style. For instance, I will select the first style. You will see that uh, my style changes and then you can apply the style. The second part is the size and location. For example, my location is uh, New York and the size is uh, 100%, 600 pixel. You can add uh, markers uh, from the next section if you have a business and want to add it to your map you can enter the business name uh, for example i will add my website name you can provide the location coordinate coordinates uh, if you know them uh, precisely or uh, uh, search for the uh, lower section in this case i will uh, write uh, for example uh, Manhattan and it will automatically select the location for me all right from the next section you can choose the icon for your marker it can be either the Google default or uh, like a style marker that offers various styles you can edit the color size or even uh, import a custom uh, marker for example I will choose uh, um, I will choose one of them for example this one and apply the changes you will notice there is an option uh, to add markers uh, if you have different locations uh, you can simply add from this part uh, the next section allows you to set the desired language or map behavior you can uh, configure its behavior online on the website by clicking on it uh, then you can control all these settings uh, from this section okay once you have created the map you can easily save it from the top section or click uh, view code uh, to copy the code and embed it into your website it's fantastic it's really great uh, but uh, make sure to save the file uh, before that okay uh, this feature is very helpful to our map related work and uh, thank you for being with me uh, until this point and if you uh, like the video uh, please make sure to like the video and subscribe to my channel it really helps me uh, uh, on this journey thank you and see you until the next tutorial